Hey everybody, welcome back, Northern Lion, Prison Architect. Nobody working at the freaking CCTV monitor, that's fine for now. What were we doing on today's episode? Oh, that's right, I recall. It's shakedown time. Why shakedown? Because it is, uh... Well, we're gonna definitely speed things up here. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be a little while before we build another expansion to our prison. So it seems like a smart idea for me, in my personal taste, to make sure that all of our prisoners get searched and, you know, make sure the prison's in a good position before we, uh, start letting new prisoners in. Obviously, this is gonna require us to put a lot of people in solitary confinement. That's okay. We haven't updated our solitary capacity in quite a long time. We have nine, including three high security, three maximum security, I should say, and only six medium security, which is only enough for, like, you know, one-sixth of the prisoners, but hopefully that's okay. So one thing they're going to keep be keeping a close eye on here, I'll zoom in a little bit just so you can see a little bit more in depth as to what's going on, is uh, our finance. I want to see what our exports are on a daily basis, basis. Our valuation is pretty good. It's gone up despite our cash on hand going way down, which means that we've made a lot of money in the process. Uh, well, some money in the process at least. Which means if we ever want to sell this prison, we're in a pretty good position. So what did we do in the last episode? Well, we set up this power station, which is going to cut into our forestry a little bit, but at the same time is necessary because our other power station was at like almost 100% capacity. Remember? Don't cross the streams. What's the next thing we're going to build? Well, um... I've been talking about making, if possible, a small protective custody prison. You think we should do it? If we do it, it should be like here. Because it's relatively close to our deliveries area. So let's plan out our protective custody prison. Let's assume that we would just build it right here. We're not going to build like another workshop here anytime soon. Or let's... Let's build it like this. So, one second. We'll have, like, a hallway like this. Yeah. This way we can build, like, another workshop or expand our existing workshop over here if we ever want to. Alright. So, our protective custody prison. Let's just act like, uh, this is gonna be it for now. What would I want in our protective custody prison? I'm just gonna let the, kind of set and forget the prison for now because it seems to be working kind of as intended. Um, I'm assuming we can build that wall up there. Let's just make sure that's actually the case. Uh, 15 awaiting solitary, oh my god. No, we can't. Okay, so let's completely scrap our planning. Start over. Lower everything by uh, one block here. Planning. So, excuse me. We'll start like here then. And we'll only have it go this high. Does this make sense? Sort of. We would have a wall here and no wall here. Okay. Yeah, this more or less makes sense. Okay, so we'd want some cells. We want a yard. Let's start with cells, though. Um, let's say that they would be facing this way. Sorry, that's not what I meant to do. So you would walk through the hallway and then it would be cells along here. We want eight of them. I know this is cost prohibitive, but I figure... I know on the last episode I was like, well, maybe we'll just eat the costs of, you know, snitches and ex-law enforcement getting killed all the time. It's probably best to keep our cumulative bonus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's go as, as many as this row will give us. It's probably best to get, um, you know, it, it handled as quickly as possible so we don't get known as the murder capital of, you know, the penitentiary system. Everyone will laugh at me when I go to the trade shows. Oh, there's the guy who runs the murder prison. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's more protective custody than we will need for a long time, which I think is good. And our hallway will come up like this. Um, wait a minute. I've botched this miserably. This has to be like that. It's this. Right. Hallway will come up with like that. And we need showers. Showers can... Uh, let's keep our kitchen like close to the outside here. So our kitchen can be like... It, it can be so small. Like our kitchen can be like... Here. And then our canteen can be like the same size basically. We'll keep it kind of somewhat symmetrical. And then we just need like a very tiny shower room. This is probably far too big but that's okay. 
and then like a common room. And then, you know, because you don't get to interact with people, let's have like a weird little yard like right here. I think this could be interesting at least. So we'll build a foundation. This is going to be a weird foundation to build. Let's make sure we got this right. And this should give them mostly everything that they need. Oh, you can't build it like that uh, for obvious reasons. Okay. Because it's blocked there. Okay, so we'll build it like this. Like this. Like this. It's a weird one. I said it was going to be. And like this. And this should leave like an open space. Yeah, this should leave an open space where we can have like a weird little yard in the middle. This is going to be interesting. How's our shakedown going? Well, prisoners don't seem to be rioting, so I'd say that's kind of a good start. They're, they don't have very much energy either. I wonder if they're like suppressed or something like that. It's going to be a bit of an expensive build here, but uh, I think that's okay too. We might as well get started building our pipes where they need to go. We got one pipe that's coming through here. On speed 3, it's going to start to get a little framey just because we have, uh, you know, so many things on the go right now. Uh, and we'll take electricity, and the electricity will start from here. And we'll go up. Uh, not quite there. We'll go up like this. And am I crazy, or are we possibly going to finish a shakedown? I think we may possibly finish a shakedown. I'm very excited by that prospect. We have about 40 places left to search, but that's okay. Maybe. And after this, the next thing that we'll probably do, besides get CCTV going at some point, is get our, um... You're gonna take forever to build, aren't you? Yeah, we should install, like, a staff door. Um, is, uh... Expand our normal security. And we can keep expanding it outwards here. We can expand it upwards, I think. I apologize for that sound in the background. I'm not sure if you can hear it. It's starting to annoy the crap out of me. So I'm assuming that it's annoying the crap out of other people as well. Anyway. Lots of, lots of pipes being installed right now. Are people getting fed? It doesn't seem like our riot risk is very high. Eh, food's a bit of a concern, but that's okay. Shakedown very nearly done. Just gotta go search the storage area. You're, how many people are waiting for solitary? Eleven! Jeez Louise. What about our informants? How are our informants doing here? Let's activate them. They'll be doing some stuff. You can't just take a knife. Like, I don't know where these prisoners get off thinking, oh, I'm just going to take a knife from the prison. A shakedown? Sure, I'll just kind of hang out. You got to hide the knife or something, man. Got to put, like, my mouse on top of the shakedown stuff so when I move the camera around, I don't get that weird paper rustling sound. 490 out of 400 or 514 places. Um, honestly, I think we just end the shakedown. I thought maybe that would solve our problem, but it didn't. Uh, yeah, cool. This is pretty good. This is going to take a while to build. Even on speed 3, they're pretty tired, I think. No, maybe not. Do we need a bigger staff room sometime soon? Like, I don't know. It seems to be working out pretty well. Three are uh, exhausted, two are resting. It's not a perfect uh, amount, but that's okay. Shower room can definitely hold more capacity. Yard is, you know, kind of small, but the most important thing is probably just that we get it decked out first. Dude, how many trucks? I was going to say, like, why don't we have all these, uh, why don't we have all those weights benches installed that I had, like, ages ago? It's because we've got trucks backed up until, like, the end of time here. What do they have on them? Trees. Uh, that's not immediately necessary. Because we're expanding so much, I'm gonna hire another two workmen. They'll have something to do. And they're fresh-faced. I like them. Alright, finances. I don't think we had any exports yesterday. We got $420,000 valuation. Which means... We'd make $320,000. Feels like we deserve more than that. But as our prison expands, I'm sure we'll, uh, we'll get it. So if I look at our uh, area here, do we have any confidential, or do we have ex-law enforcements? Snitches and ex-law enforcements will get put in the, uh, activate them again. They'll get put in the, uh, maybe made them a little too suspicious here, but they'll get put in protective custody. CIs won't. I don't know if the AI is programmed for it, but I feel like that would give them away just a little bit too easily. 
If we're like, yay, all right, all the ex-cops and also Jenkins, you're staying in the protective custody unit. They'd be like, why Jenkins? <gasps> I got it. You Shyamalan me. How are our programs doing? Still only one passed. That's depressing. Zero have passed behavioral therapy. That's depressing. But hey, we're doing all right on the drugs front. And kitchen safety. And workshop safety. It's, it could be going worse. It's going to take us forever to do this installation, but that's okay. Let's let some of the jobs kind of percolate through the queue before we really uh, get super aggressive. I mean, basically for every uh, time we build like a separate block, we're building a whole new prison from the ground up. A very small one, but uh, a, a new prison nonetheless. There's probably a much more creative way to set this up so that the prisoners can actually share facilities just by being very creative and diligent with your regime. But for me personally, I feel like it's a lot safer just because I don't trust myself with that to basically just build like a new building and be like, this is our protective custody wing. And yes, it's expensive, but I'm expecting on one day I will have eight prisoners or 11 prisoners that need protective custody. We're almost maxed out on our high risk prisoners as is. I just want to look at our uh, CIs. We don't want to get our CIs killed. That would be... Where did you die? Deaths. Deaths. Let me click on deaths. No, not that. Not that. Pause. I want to take a look at this death. Was it here? I have a feeling it was here. Alright, so our problem there... If I had to say what our problem there was, well, let's see. Is he ex-law enforcement? Ex-court? Oh, he's unconscious. He's not dead. Who died? Where is the dead man? One dead bodies. Let them clear out here. He's probably going to be the one that's still lying on the ground. Is there, like, one behind him? Who killed somebody? Presumably somebody going to solitary right now. I have no idea. This hallway might be a little too small. Alright, well... Once protective custody gets up and running, that's not gonna happen anymore. <laughs> that's my philosophy on that murder. Is the dead body still here? One dead body. Yeah, okay. I just want to make sure, like, I would like it to be ex-law enforcement. That sounds bad, but I need it to be ex-law enforcement to prove that my protective custody will solve our problems here, you know? Are we really just going to leave this unconscious guy on the ground? Like, it seems... Oh, no, he's dead. He is ex-law enforcement, and he was a snitch. Okay, that's fine. Not because his life is worthless, but because it means that I can protect future... What was his name? Is like Friedrich von Fluffenheim. It was pretty close. Friedrich von Fluffenheim. It was the German guy who came in. Nobody's why he's in here, but he's framed for murder. Well, that was a bad end for you. Um, not your fault, I guess, though. But, uh, yeah, this will allow us to actually protect people like Friedrich in the future. He wasn't a CI, was he? No. Okay. You can probably get him out of here, considering he's dead. I don't think we have any other ex-law enforcement in here. So there's going to be, like, a whole prison here. It's going to be like a ghost prison set up, basically. There's going to be chefs. There's going to be a guard or two. There's going to be a kitchen and a canteen. There's not going to be anybody in it. It's going to be very lonely when you're the first ex-cop. You're going to have your own prison. It's just like that Creed song. Higher. So I'm just making sure the walls actually get built properly here, because uh, as of right now, I'm not sure if you noticed, but it uh, totally looks like our prisoners could pretty much just walk the F out. It's only 3 p.m. Please build this faster. They can just walk out. The prisoners can just walk out. Oh my god, don't set up the walls until the prisoners can just walk out, man! It's freaking open season over there! Okay, that's a start. They've got to walk a little further to get out now. I have faith in you. Is our yard one tile too small? One, two, three, four, five. No, I... One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think it's all right. Walls? 
Walls? Walls. Any minute now, there should be a wall here. I think this is it. There's like two girders. Install that last girder. Oh, thank God. Okay. So we did end up getting walls. That feels pretty good. So we're going to demolish uh, this wall. No, we're not. We're going to demolish these walls. And we're going to build a wall across here. But we're going to leave this space open and put like a door on it. Which we can't do yet. Okay, that's fine. Just give it a minute. This is going to be our protective custody prison. This can be dismantled. This staff door can be dismantled. We'll use our clone tool. Although, do we have any cells oriented in this way? Oh, yeah. But what a coincidence. Our maximum security cells are oriented properly here to just clone them. Uh, you're just trapped in the wall, huh? You don't want to... You can bust that wall down, get your friend out of there, maybe. It's really a pretty easy piece of work to do here. You just got to demolish this. I appreciate that. That's very nice of you. You're too good to me. Oh, now you're trapped. Uh, yeah, maybe you just have nothing to do. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt on that one. All right. Brick wall. Here, here. Objects. Door. Why can't you install a door? Because there's no foundation? All right. We'll install a small foundation here. I didn't expect to have to do this, but this is okay. Sometimes things can get a little finicky. Please dismantle this tree. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. This is going to be our to-do list for today. If we can get this protective custody wing up and running, I'd feel a whole lot better. Seriously, dude, stop stealing our knives. That's like a really big no-no. All right, so we can finally install a door there that will allow us to make this a yard. I was going to say, it should work. Um, we'll install a, a few lights. This is going to be the easiest yard we've ever had to make. Certainly a lot easier than our last one. And we'll install, like, two phone booths. Save a little bit of money in the process here. Make three. And enough weights benches that, um, you know, you can talk on the phone with your wife while you're doing your sets. Okay. So now that the yard's taken care of, we're going to need, uh, this is going to be our common room. So we're going to put like a door here and here. That's fair. And this is going to be a hallway here. Okay. This makes sense. This will not be anything. This is going to be our showers. These guys I don't have to worry about. They're probably not going to fight each other. Hopefully. So a couple of doors on the showers seems logical. This is going to be our canteen. Again, a couple of doors here seems smart. And this is going to be our kitchen, where, to be honest with you, should be pretty darn easy to get this sorted out. Let's um, set it up so there's like a staff door here, and then a staff door to like the outside. Although they can just walk through here and get to deliveries, which is probably faster. Okay, good, I think. Before we get this all set up, let's use our clone tool, and... Uh, Go down to high security. Now, we don't want the back wall. We just want the front wall. And we'll take the left wall, but not the right wall. And we're going to start placing them. This is the benefit of planning. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And, of course, piping. Like this. Okay. We do need to build a couple more walls. Now, this should be able to be taken care of. This is a nice little weekend project for us here. Uh, to build a cell that makes it... Or a prison that makes it so, you know, cops don't get murdered here. We're, gonna, we're actually going to put our door back. I didn't realize, but it's a really smart idea to put our door back. Uh, although, we'll put it, like, here. And we're going to put it here, even though it looks super silly. 
Uh, because this won't block this other door. The other thing we can do is just, I don't know, whatever, this is fine. That'll allow us to make this area designated as protective custody only. How are you so close to maximum capacity already? I didn't build capacitors, I built electrical wires. I'm an idiot. I really thought those were capacitors. That makes way more sense as to why this is not working out for us. Uh, we should also, like, hire a guard and just keep him here. We, do we have to wait till that door is installed? Or does the door not do its job? I think the door doesn't do its job. Dismantle it. Door. Uh, I'll put it here. There we go. Even having one capacitor changes this so drastically. Yeah, but we want to have a guard here. Deployment. Like, this is a huge area, man. This door should block it off so that we don't have to deal with that. But I think the door isn't placed properly. And should be dismantled accordingly. Are we making money on exports yet? $200. It's a start, man. I can't be too mad about that. Seriously, though, if you could actually, like, you know, get to work, that would be sweet. Because we do have a lot of stuff on the go here, that's okay. Let's queue up our other jobs. So this is going to be our kitchen, which is, you know, going to cook food for nobody for now. It's going to be our canteen. Because we're not cooking food for very many people, I don't necessarily think we need a door to come through here. The, the chefs can just carry it. I think that's fine. Um, this is going to be our shower area. And this is so unlikely to provide benefits, but I think it's still, it's just the right thing to do, isn't it? You know, make sure your, your prisoners aren't being murdered. Mostly because we lose money in the process. But also, it would be nice, you know, it would clear my conscience a little bit. Conscience a little bit. So we can probably make do with like one serving table. And then like, table... Uh, bench, 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 bench. We're only going to have a maximum of 11 prisoners in here at any given time. And just to be safe, I will give them a metal detector. And uh, we don't need to do anything too fancy here with our shower heads, I would say. Just go like uh, this. You know, shower heads don't actually need to be connected to walls. You can just kind of put them down in the middle of the floor if you want them to. If you, or if you wanted to. Why'd you put the shower head on the table? I wanted to. There's more Richard Cheese there than anything else. Okay, wide sofa. Wide sofa. Pool table. You're like you're pretty lonely in here. So I feel like giving you maybe a little bit more comfort than you would otherwise deserve is okay. that, I think. Okie dokie. Those aren't wired up yet, but that's okay. The cells aren't working yet. What are you... You're, oh, you're missing a wall. And that's my bad. That is totally my bad. Uh, now, the lamest ones to install are definitely kitchens. The sink going here. Uh, fridge. Cooker. I like that I can just kind of leave my prison running itself. That has been pretty sweet. So, uh, excuse me. No, you're not getting fed in this canteen. Deployment? Yeah, this area? Protected only. Get out of here. You're not allowed in here. It's protected only. Do you not see the sign? If we had a guard in here, he might kick them out, I guess. Um... Well, they'll figure it out pretty soon, I'm sure. Are they going to this yard? Oh, you guys are fired. You guys are going to solitary next time I get the chance. Large pipe up like this. And small pipes like this. Alright, this has been a long episode of just getting this stuff sort of sorted out. But once it's done, it's done. And we have a place where we can send these people when we find them in the future. What do you mean, these people? Oh, relax. Per straw man I just made up in my head right now. 
Uh, guards. Do we have guards in this area? No, we do not. Now we do. He's gonna kick them all out. Yeah, get out of there! This is, area is quite clearly yellow. It's kind of beautiful if you look at it, you know? Very nice. Our prison is segmented in such a way as to be appropriate. I don't think we need, like, a protective custody solitary area. I'll tell you what. If we want to punish you, we'll just throw you in with the rest of them. Alright. Is this done? I think this is done. We'll just hire, like, a couple of cooks. And there you go. There's our protective custody wing pretty much sorted out. Just like this. And like this, now to actually find people to put in it. Because as of right now, that is not, uh... I don't, like, I don't think we have any ex-law enforcement. Let's pause. Alright, first off, is there anybody that needs to move up? They're in work right now. Does anybody, for example, need to move to... We used to have two CIs, that scares the crap out of me. Does anybody need to move to, um, maximum? I don't think so. We don't appear to have any ex-law enforcement. Where's our CI? There he is. Dude. Alright, you gonna find some stuff out here? Just mill about? Hey! You know, I was a security officer in my past life. What were you? Oh, oh you a cop? Alright, I gotta go tell somebody that, like, right away. So far, this is going pretty nicely, though. He's not teaching us anything. Let's activate him again, see what happens. Give us some more information. Oh, here he goes, he's going back to the security room. Alright, tell us what you know. There's so many doors, why do you all go through the same one and then fight each other? Alright, what do you got for me? He's telling us stuff. Oh, here we go. Alright, so we're due for like a shakedown. I don't really give a crap about... Oh, what do you got for me? Arranged 6.8 hours ago. Can we, like, search this light or something? What's up with that? That's weird. Just trying to see if there's anything else here. Really, I want to learn more about people. I don't see any tunnels, though. That's a good start. Does his suspicion go down as he tells us more? Or does it just go down over time? I think it goes down over time. No, no, no. You don't understand. You need to find out who the ex-police officers are here. I need to know more about their reputation. I don't really care about their contraband. I mean, I do. Because, like, the person who is tough and deadly probably shouldn't have poison. Tell you what, why don't we search your cell? Let's see what this guard finds. A little bit of poison, huh? Uh, now his suspicion is like a little higher. He's like, oh, maybe you should be a little. Uh, who did I tell about that poison? Oh, Andrew Quayle, right? I forgot about that. Okay. We should be a little careful when we act on then. Anyway, what do we have going on here? Ghost prison appears to be up and running. Let's make sure we take planning uh, totally off here. This should probably be a stronger door. Yeah, you know what? Our prisoners never need to... Like, our protective custody prisoners, they should never have to leave here. This is self-sustaining. Just put up a staff door instead. We'll probably need to rechange our deployment as a result. Rechange? That's a word. Don't think about it too hard. Um, give it a sec. There it goes. It's been installed. Okay. Uh, protected. Boom. Yeah, this is exactly right. I wish there was a way to make it so protected could work as well, but better safe than sorry. I don't want to get into, like, Venn diagram nonsense. So one should be in solitary right now. We can't see. That's okay. Gotta do something with this area. Uh, let's check out our grade. Health is really bad. Security's getting a little better. What can we do to make our health better? That's a good question. I don't know the answer to that question. What I can do is take a quick look at our programs here. Uh, it's not going so hot. Why does nobody want to do carpentry? Enough people are passing workshop safety. 
Nobody wants to do carpentry, which is a shame because I really need the beds. Like, if we could actually get those beds done, we could really start making some money here. But even still, and even though we spent like $500,000 on this prison, uh, where am I? Capacitor. Um, we've done a pretty... G oh, there's already capacitors there for some reason. Uh, or maybe it's the trees blocking them. Um, we've done a pretty good job with this prison, in my opinion. It's time to start letting some more in. Let me think about this. We gotta do some mental math. We have three... So that's 110 capacity. And then we have another, like, 11 here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Fourteen. We have 113. So we can take 17, if my math is right, 17 more normal risk prisoners on. Let's do that before the episode ends. Eight are arriving tomorrow. So we'll take eight tomorrow. It's still very early. Actually, you know what? That's going to take too long, I think. But, uh, yeah, that'll take, like, another eight or nine minutes, maybe. But anyway... Thanks for watching. I think that's going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps me out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. Remember, there's a backlog on these videos. So it might take, uh, if you make a suggestion like, hey, here's how you fix that hole in your road. It'll take a couple of days for me to be able to actually implement it just due to the nature of time and space. But, again, thanks for your support. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And I'll see you next time.